I think identity is your background, where you're from, it's what like you do. Your personality, like what you like to do. Um, so like the way you look, dress. <laughs> it, it it can kind of be like your roots or where you're from. Everyone's is completely different. <laughs> Overall, it comes down to what choices you make. Okay, so the Barbican Box Music is a programme aimed at secondary school teachers and their students. We devise a box that contains tools and inspiration for young people and their teachers to create their own songs. The Barbican Box Music, for us, is a great starting point for young people, whatever their background, whatever their previous experience of music, to create and perform musical ideas of their own in the Barbican Concert Hall. The theme of this year's Barbican Box is identity. So identity is a really, really emotive um, subject for young people, particularly in London, to talk about, as in where they're from, where their background is. What does it mean to be you today? How do you define your own identity? Who are you? What makes you you? Series have been commissioned by the Barbican um, and one of the things that we really wanted to do is make sure that we have someone really, really inspiring working with them. Um, and Soretta Kinch is absolutely fantastic. He's um, a saxophonist, spoken word artist. The entire box itself relates to different uh, aspects of identity, different approaches, if you like. So even the appearance of the box itself is this monochrome cardboard ballot box design that has IC codes, which are police codes, on the outside. So it's a very conformist form of identity and one that's usually imposed from outside. Inside the box, then, there's all these tools that help you to get inside the deeper aspects of what identity means, where there are poetry books, where there's recording devices, tools that really help you to hear the world of sound, the world of music, in a more personal way. Identity is a very salient subject and music I think is going to be a gateway into considering some quite lofty you know, intellectual subjects but in a, in a very hands-on and identifiable way. That was really useful for us this morning because we were able to see some of the stuff that was in the box. It's going to create something really good, um, take things in a new direction, um, open up even more creative opportunities for the students. Looking at the box initially has looks really exciting. I know they will love it. Um, so the project so far, we've had about 10 sessions or so. The students are really enjoying it. Uh, it's really good for them to develop their own ideas um, and be really creative. And it's something that's not kind of prescribed teaching. A lot of it's come from them. So the box, we've been given loads of things that we can use in our piece or um, stuff that will inspire us. So there are some identity codes and they're about where you're from. So, for example, IC1 is British white, IC2 white European. And then we use those codes with, um, with the tuning forks to create a, a, like a montage for the beginning of our piece. different views on things and different personalities and different tastes and how they can all work together because most of the time people think you know things can't work together I mean a person who likes Spice Girls maybe and Metallica can't work together but we ended up doing it and you know it's a really nice thing. We went to the Barbican to go see Terence Blanchard and Jacob Collier. I felt inspired because I never heard jazz in that type of way. I really liked it because with Jacob Collier's music, he he does it on the spot and it's, it's very different. They got to hear and listen to music that perhaps they might not have discovered otherwise and also it um, really excited them, the fact that a few months later they'll be doing exactly the same thing. My hope on the impact of a Barbican box is that your involvement is the start of a journey, perhaps a new journey for you, where you're going to 
keep doing music. Maybe you're doing music already, maybe you haven't done it before. Uh, whichever way, wherever you're coming from with this, it's something that catalyzes you, that um, sparks you to do more of this, to write more music, to work with other people, to feel that you've got something to say through music. You know, I've shown that I can write songs, I can perform them, I can work with other people. All I knew about identity was that it was about you, but I think I've gone a lot deeper in the project. It's not every day that you get to perform at the Barbican. Um, it's not every day that you get to perform on stage. Nice. I've never really done things like this before.